Since most of you are back for hair and makeup tips, the trick is to keep your hair somewhat clean and let the natural oils do their job. The other half of you won't make it halfway through this video, but I'm doing this for myself. I am reporting this. I am saying the truth. And we have not just me, but the World Economic Forum coming out in a meeting at Davos this week. But of course, beforehand, they released a report, so what they should smooth about. And this is it. Fortune gave us a little peek into this. Quote, the headline reads, We're in a new polycrisis era, and the World Economic Forum just warned us what to prepare for. Sadly, there is no preparing. After economists Dr. Doom and Adam Tooze warned of a polycrisis, the WEF agreed the world is on brink of a few catastrophes. Oh, we. Oui. I'll read from the top. Multiple concurrent economic, political, and ecological shocks are converging to rock the globe in the next decade, and the world is playing catch-up to address them. Great. The next 10 years are shaping up to be a transformational period for the world economy, which is under threat from a number of interrelated crises. The veteran economist and well-known pessimist Nehru Lul Rubini, also known as Dr. Doom, I'm the Doom Wizard, they should have asked me, for his gloomy forecast of the future, broke down 10 massive economic challenges in his recent books, Mega Threats, ranging from unprecedented debt chaos to global climate disruption. Continuing, the world has faced each of these crises individually before. Has it? Not really. But experts, including Rubini and economic historian Adam Tooze, fear that these threats could morph into a singular polycrisis. A state of risk where multiple crises intersect to amplify their collective impact, and now one of the world's premier forums for international business and political cooperation agrees we are on the brink Oh, this is good. The business executives finally agree that we're on the brink of a crisis. Isn't this wonderful, guys? Go, go work for minimum wage. Keep working, slave. While government and business leaders around the world are racing to meet short-term challenges such as rising inflation and recession risk, long-term risks may converge into a poly crisis. By the end of the decade, according to the new report, the world's collective focus is being channeled into the survival of today's crises. WF Managing Director Blah Blah wrote, Quote, yet much needed attention and resources are already are being diverted from newly emerging and rapidly accelerating risks. Newly emerging? I would say this crisis has been in the forefront of most people's minds, at least those who are aware and awake for decades. Continuing, the report released Wednesday ahead of WEF's annual conference of economic and political leaders, Davos, Switzerland, next week, interviewed 1,200 global risks experts from the WF, including academia, business, and politics. Oh, just the people. Politics and business people. Exactly who we want managing our environment. Uh, while issues such as rising costs of living, slow economic growth, and tight global food and energy supplies rank as pressing short-term risk, the report found that long-term threats primarily center on ecological crises. Surprise! The foremost pressing long-term risks over the coming decade are as follows. Failure to mitigate climate change, failure to adapt to climate change, extreme weather events, and the threat of biodiversity collapse. Oh yay, that's exactly what we wanted. Left undressed, unaddressed, yeah, it's unaddressed. The WF says short and long-term risks can combine to create a collective crisis world leaders may not be prepared for. How about are not prepared for? These future risks can interact on each other to form a polycrisis. A growing number of warnings about the collective risks could face in the next decade. Tooze even pop popularized the term polycrisis. You know, he's a, he's a savant, a prophet, you know, really thinking of this word as a complex network of entangled crises together that make it harder. Our t I quote, our tightrope walk with no end is only going to become more precarious and nerve-wracking. The report also made the same case that global cooperation is normally a guardrail against global risks. However, 2020s, first half of 2020s stemming from U.S.-China relations and Taiwan and the Ukraine war threatened to weaken international ties. Really? Oh, have they? I'm pretty sure we're preparing for World War III, if you ask anybody I know. Um, because, what, if Russia loses? Russia's going to lose in, to Ukraine, a little small country? No, they're going to use nukes said by triggering a global food and energy shortage while aggravating inflation worldwide. And, and, quote, continuing, In the years to come, a continued concurrent crises embed structural changes to economic and geopolitical landscape. They, uh, they accelerate the other risks we face. 
And I just want to pull more excerpt from Al Jazeera. A big factor is misinformation and disinformation from political influencers spreading extreme beliefs and swaying elections into social media echo chambers. Exactly what's prevalent in dying civilizations. Echo chambers. The race to develop new technologies in areas such as, I'm going to skip ahead, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and biotechnology will offer a partial solution to some crises, but it can widen inequality. Quote, the resulting new economic era may be one of growing divergence between rich and poor countries and the first rollback human development in decades. I would say the human rollback has been still going on since it ever began. Honestly, how many people in the world work within le for less than $10 a day? You know, we're so privileged here in the West. So I just wanted to read these two. Essentially what they're saying is the biggest shit show of our lives is unraveling right now with cost of living rising and um, the biodiversity crisis, which no one seems to think is real. And here we have the mightiest of the mightiest Earth's heroes in the business community telling us that, well, we're about to enter some real deep doo-doo, okay? So clean your shoes, do some stretches, and get ready to haul ass. Because this is going to be survival of the fittest over the next two decades. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. More makeup tips next time. I'll talk to you later. See ya.